If you're looking for a no fluff, straight to the point, quick video on how to get your own sniffer, then this video is for you. Hi, this is Vegas Vic 1965. And without further ado, let's find out. Welcome back everyone, Vegas Vic 1965. In order to find ourselves a sniffer, we're gonna need a sniffer egg and that's gonna tie right into archeology. span Now with archeology, span we are gonna need a brush. To make a brush, you would put an iron egg, a, excuse me, a copper ingot there, a feather up top and a stick on the bottom and you'll get yourself a brush. And then we are off to the warm ocean biome where the sand is at. That's the only place you're gonna be able to use your brush to find a sniffer egg. Okay, now up on the screen, you can see we are in the warm ocean biome. And what we're looking for are these right here, they're ocean ruins. And we're gonna be looking at some of the sand down here because some of the sand doesn't look quite the same. I found one right over here and you'll see exactly what I mean. This is what you're looking for. You can see that sand block right there does not look like the other one. And what we'll do is we'll clear out an area here and we'll go ahead and see if we can't get something out of this sandbox by using the brush. You're going to use the use button uh, for our Java users. That's going to be the right button. We'll go ahead and brush that and see what we can't find. Oh, we got lucky. We have a sniffer egg. Now, if we want more or be able to breed them, we're going to need another sniffer egg. So what we'll do is we'll look around and see if we can't find another suspicious piece of sand and then uh, go ahead and get ourselves Ooh, there's two more right here let's go take a look and see what we can get here don't always get what you're looking for we'll see what we can find using our brush again the right button yeah, got a golden nugget on that one can't all be winners right and a piece of coal but we're going to continue looking and see if I can't get ourselves another sniffer out. One thing I want to mention that is really important is, as you can see, I dug this out. Don't forget, just because you don't see it on the surface, that there isn't anything underneath these solid blocks. Because look what I found right here. Let's see what we can find on this one right here. Ah, uh, just some wheat. But just remember, take a look at all the way around and get rid of those solid blocks. You may just find more suspicious sand to get that other egg. Looks like we got our last one. We have two sniffer eggs. That's perfect. We can get all the sniffers we want now that we, so we can breed them. Now you can place your sniffer eggs on any block, but if you place them on a moss block like you see here, they will actually hatch in half the time. So a regular block, uh, the eggs will hatch in about 20 minutes. On moss blocks, they will hatch in about 10 minutes. Unlike turtle eggs, if you place the egg down and you didn't want to put it there, you do not need a silk touch tool. You can use any tool, including your hand, to get that egg back and then just place it where you want to. Now, if you already have a pair of sniffers and you want to breed them to get more sniffer eggs to hatch, then what you will need is torch fire seeds. Now, these guys will run around and, and actually harvest or look dig in the dirt to find those torch flower seeds. And they'll also find uh, pitcher pods. What you do is you feed one each by using the right button, mouse button, to the use button, as a matter of fact. And they will breed and then get you another separate. Of course, then you. Now, as I mentioned earlier, they will actually dig through the dirt. Uh, they'll plop down, and you see right here, we got ourselves a pitcher pod. So besides a beautiful little uh, pet for yourself, they will actually get you the pitcher pods and the torch flower seeds. You can plant those and you will get the pitcher plant, which you can use for decoration, or you can use it for dye. And same with the uh, torch flower, you can use that for dye or decoration as well. Now down in my action bar, you'll see exactly what these guys will run through the dirt to find for you. That's the torch flower seeds and the pitcher pods. So that's going to wrap it up for this week's video on the sniffer, how to get your very own, I guess, dinosaur friend. 
<laughs> if you like this video, click the like button. If you want to subscribe for past or future videos, click that subscribe button. It really helps me and lets me know that I provide great quality content for you guys each and every week. So until next week's video, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.